Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this uh, edition of our um, e-newsletter. Um, I'm very fortunate this afternoon to have uh, Anthony Stockwell sitting on my left-hand side. Uh, welcome, Anthony. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, we thought today we would do a special newsletter uh, to our uh, members of our school community, uh, parents and uh, staff and students. To start off with uh, today, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to, uh, to formally announce that uh, Anthony has been uh, appointed to the acting principal position here at Hazel Glen College for Term 3. Uh, congratulations, Anthony. Thanks, Daryl. Certainly very excited. I'm sure you are. And uh, can I just say that uh, during uh, Term 3, the process for the substantive role of uh, uh, college principal will take place. But I suppose uh, straight up, uh, next term, um, it's going to be an exciting term once again. We have a, a number of things that are happening around the college and we've been through this process over a number of years uh, leading into the second half of the year. Uh, I suppose our, our buildings, uh, the infrastructure, our budgets, our uh, staffing selections, uh, I don't want to scare you but uh, they're, all the, uh, they're all the list uh, that, you, that you have along with many other many other things to do. Anthony, how do you feel about uh, taking up the, the role next term as um, acting college principal? I'm, I'm sure there are a number of emotions going through your mind and a few thoughts. Very proud moment, Darrell, receiving the phone call from Regent. Um, certainly big shoes to fill in your absence. I will say thank you to uh, all the community and uh, staff and students that have on the well wishes that I've received. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to the challenge ahead and continuing to build on what we have done over the last five years, working with amazing people, providing amazing opportunities for our kids. Well, we wish you all the best, Anthony, and I'm, I mean that. I'm um, very, very pleased to see you take up that, um, that position. Thank you. And we wish you all the very best uh, later in the year as well, or I certainly do. Thanks, Can I um, just move on? Uh, yesterday morning, uh, Anthony, a very cold morning here at the college, and uh, I suppose this week has been... Uh, so far, the coldest week that we've had for the year. Uh, we were fortunate to be outside uh, early in the morning mm. um, for a special event that took place over, over the road uh, on the corner of uh, Eminence Boulevard and Painted Hills uh, Road. For? Well, I would love to share the exciting news that yesterday Daryl and uh, myself were invited over to the corner of Painted Hills Road and Eminence Boulevard for the announcement and turning of the sod for the soccer fields that have been planned to be built over there. Uh, we were fortunate to uh, uh, meet uh, Chris Pavlidis, the Mayor of Whittlesey, and also the local member for Yan Yin, Danielle Green. So it was a certainly exciting news, Daryl. Facilities that we certainly, as a, a school community, that we will use regularly and uh, add to the, the wonderful sporting um, uh, fields uh, for, the, for the school. When do you think we get a sense of when that's going to be finished, Anthony, so that we can actually use the, uh, the soccer fields over there? Yes, well, I did ask a few of the members over there. They're saying around a 12-month build. So they certainly look forward to uh, bringing in the builders, setting up the sheds shortly, uh, starting firstly with the uh, main building itself before they start with the fields. And the fields are uh, a natural grass field and mm -hmm. also an artificial grass uh, field as well. So we're, again, very fortunate to have those facilities that are going to be uh, within our reach as a college, which is terrific. Uh, this is our final e-news for, uh, for the term. And uh, next week, I will have the opportunity to send home a um, typed newsletter to all in our community. Darrell, I'd like to invite uh, and share with the community that on the final day of term, uh, that we are having a final assembly like we usually do, but it will be to celebrate uh, the work and efforts and leadership that you have provided for our college. We know that our gym is uh, limited with uh, space when after we put all of our students in, but what I am saying is that after the assembly, that if families would like to individually say their uh, thank yous to you on the basketball hard courts uh, around 2 o'clock, uh, please come down. A Anthony, are you aware how many families we have? I am. All right. Thank you very much and I look forward to catching up with you in the near future. Thank you. Thank you.